In this video, we're going to dive deep into how to create a real estate landing page that generates leads and books you appointments. I'm gonna walk you through the exact process for building a landing page that converts actual visitors into potential clients. And we're gonna cover everything from outlining the page's flow to identifying the perfect lead magnet, then actually building your landing page step by step. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna be giving you a special script that is really designed for a video that's gonna go on your landing page that's gonna guarantee you to convert more visitors into actual appointments. By the way, if this is our first time meeting, I'm Emmanuel, I'm the founder of Square One Group, and now for over two decades, we have helped, I'd say, close to about 600 real estate agents not only develop their website, but actually build successful online marketing systems to boost their business and bring in appointments. And everything I'm gonna be covering today is stuff that we've implemented firsthand. And you're gonna see essentially how we're able to elevate this any old agent's DJ game. But first, let's tackle some of the common roadblocks that you're probably facing. One is the generic page trap. Many real estate landing pages, bottom line is they all look the same and they look lackluster. They don't look unique at all and it doesn't really set you apart. Another big problem is an unclear message. This is essentially when your landing page doesn't clearly articulate the offer that you're providing and why it matters, why visitors need to contact you so instead they leave. Oh, and the last big problem is a weak call to action. A landing page without a compelling call to action is like a realtor without leaving you know, a prospect or business card. It's completely ineffective. And if you continue on without resolving these problems, it's gonna lead to a high bounce rate, low engagement, and most importantly, really abysmal or disappointing numbers as it pertains to like lead generation and really appointments. Because the bottom line is, without appointments, you're not getting the next client. Without that, you're not getting into escrow. But don't worry, we're gonna address all of that in this video here. And I first wanna start off by just laying out a proper framework for the flow of how this is gonna work. It's best that you understand the roadmap that a lead is gonna go through in your funnel to get them to the correct destination and take the right action. So check this out. The idea behind this is pretty simple. We first need to do some sort of marketing to generate a lead. And one of the easiest ways to do this is by using Facebook lead ads. So let's say that we create an ad here. A really compelling one for maybe a lead magnet. Now, the main thing is that we wanna make sure that these ads are Facebook lead ads because when someone clicks on them, uh, in the process of getting them sent to your landing page, we're gonna be able to essentially collect their name, telephone number and email address so we can actually have their contact information and have them as a lead. Now, after that happens, you have to realize that there's two types of leads. There's the now lead and the later lead. And we need to give both of them something to do. Now let's start off with the later people. Now this ad, it can't just be some generic ad that says like, hey, book an appointment. You have to focus on creating some sort of lead magnet. And the later people are gonna wanna click on your ad so they can get that lead magnet. So the first step is somewhere on the page, you're gonna put a button that's gonna lead to whatever cool little PDF document that you created uh, you know, with your lead magnet that's gonna be a resource to them. And yeah, this is the later people here. And then from there, we'll give them some sort of call to action at the end to, you know, contact you. Now for the now people, we need to give them something to do too. And that's where we use the bottom real estate of your landing page, which is to add a video of you kind of introducing yourself and kind of explaining how you can help them. And then a link to a calendar, like an embedded calendar, like Calendly. And from there, they can book off some time and then essentially you can have a phone call and, uh, you know, hopefully you talk to this lead, turn them into a client and then, uh, and then close them. All right. Now that you got this roadmap laid out, let's kind of linger on this concept of what a lead magnet is briefly. And if you don't know what a lead magnet is, it's essentially an offer of something of value to your potential clients in exchange for their contact information. It's really the first step in building a relationship with them. This is essentially where a completely cold lead that doesn't know who the heck you are enters into your world. And then you can start warming them up to really trusting you and then having them become more open for a future engagement with you. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details of how to set one up. I've actually created a video for that and I'm gonna leave the link to it right, I think it's right here, right here, somewhere up here. But just remember, the lead magnet is not the end goal. It is the initial hook that's gonna draw in potential clients into your world, giving them a chance or giving you the chance to nurture them and then convert them into an actual appointment booked. Okay, enough talk about lead magnets. Let's talk about preparation for this landing page that we're gonna be building together. It's great to have all of your assets ready up front because you'll be able to get this set up very, very fast. First up, it's to make sure that you've identified and you've created the lead magnet that you're gonna use 
for this launch. This is really the cornerstone of your lead capture strategy. So think about making sure that it's valuable enough. You know, a complete stranger would be willing to exchange their contact information for whatever solution that you're providing. Simultaneously, also be sure to create the ad creatives for the lead magnet if you're running like Facebook ads. This is like your ad creative and the ad copy. And this is really gonna be the first point of contact that a lead sees that's really gonna set the stage for what they're gonna find in the landing page that we're creating. Now, the next piece about this video that you have to put on here. You're essentially gonna need to record a video of yourself talking about how you can help your perfect future clients. By the way, I mentioned it earlier, but if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you the exact script. And to streamline the journey from visitor to lead, we need some sort of scheduling tool, like Calendly, for example, uh, that you're gonna need to set up and we'll have ready, you know, to kind of copy and place and install into this page. This bypasses the need for chasing leads if you use a form instead. And it also allows for instant appointment setting, which dramatically boosts or increases your conversion rates. And then lastly, make sure that you have a Google account handy because we're building this on Google Sites. It's completely free and it gets you up and running really, really quickly. By the way, if you found value in this video so far, really appreciate it if you could click that like button, subscribe button, bell icon, all that really, really juicy good stuff. Thank you so much in advance. Okay, now let's build out this actual landing page. First step is to head over to google.com forward slash sites so that you can access like a whole, like this website builder. And you're gonna start with a blank website. Now, the process of setting this up is really, really simple. Just follow along with me. First of all, add the name of your website. In this case, I'm just going to call uh, my, my company name, Square One Group. Now, to keep things simple, we're just going to build off of what's already here, starting off with the page title. The page title is essentially the thing that you're offering as your lead magnet. In this case, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to be giving uh, my, my leads, a one page PDF guide about, you know, how to, how color affects psychology when building websites. So I'm building this lead page, uh, lead magnet page off of that. So, so here's the title to my cool little lead magnet. Oops. Uh, and I'm also obviously going to want to fix the formatting. So it looks a lot better. So let's reduce the size to this. Maybe, uh, let's do 30, 20, 24, uh, a little shorter. 18. Let's make this a, uh, there you go. That looks good. I'm also going to want to add a little tagline just so that people can really know like a little bit more about the lead magnet that I created. And I do that by simply just heading over to this right panel here and click on text box. Let me paste the cool little tagline that I have here. Uh, and then let me fix the formatting by centering it. And then making this one line. And then uh, let's, I want to put this up here, so I'm going to drag it up. But first, I want to make sure I get it. I, you can actually see the color of it. So I'll just take. Oops, there, it's done. I'm just going to take this, drag it up here. Boom! There we go. All right. And then the last piece of this is I need to put a cool little button here to actually access the PDF. Uh, and I'm going to do that by simply let's see. If you scroll here on the right side, there's a button here called button. If you click on that, I'm just going to call it access PDF. PDF here. Then I'm going to paste the link to the PDF. And the link to the PDF is right here. You can put that link like on Dropbox or on your Google Drive. Just find a place to upload it so people can access it. So I have this here and I'm actually going to move it right here. Okay, I want to format this a little better because uh, this there, there's a weird space here. So I'm just going to click up here and then just hit the delete button and then now it looks a little bit more spaced out, a little, a, a lot better, I should say. Okay, now the next piece of this is I need to add the video and the calendar so that people can book a brainstorm session. The way to do that is really, really simple. Uh, we're gonna add it down here. The first step is that I wanna add another little uh, title section or text box for a title right here. And I'm gonna give this call to action, book a brainstorm session. Let's make this like a, another heading to center it just like that. And then, uh, you know what? I don't want to use the blue color. Let's use a black color. There you go. Let me bold it too. All right, that looks good. Okay, next piece, I want to add a little intro snippet about the words for what exactly is going to be in this brainstorm session. So I'll add another text box here, and then I'll just paste the words that I've created. Uh, let me center it so it looks a little better. Of course, if you want to mess with the formatting, you can click these like little uh, ball icons here on the left and right, 
and kind of just shrink them down so that they look a little bit more centered. I think that looks really good. All right, perfect. Now, if you once you've done that, if you click, if you hover over it, like the text area, you see like these 10 little dots, you hover over that, you can move things around so that it centers a little bit better. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, the next step is we need to embed this YouTube video that you're going to be recording. So by this time, you should have recorded the video or you're probably watching this and then you're going to record, the, get the script at the end of this video and then record the video, upload it to YouTube. And then you're going to click this button here called YouTube and you're going to paste the link to that YouTube video. There we go. Hit select and there's my video. Uh, I can reformat this slightly just if it's too big or looks a little funky. So I can just click on the, the bottom uh, right icon and just drag it to resize it appropriately. Just like that. All right, and the next piece is we need to embed a calendar. So that we do that by on the right side, scrolling up to embed, clicking on that, and then head over to Calendly and then copy the embed code that you have for your calendar, like I'm doing here. And then I'm just gonna hit, click this embed code uh, button at the top and I'll click right click, paste the code, hit next. Now click insert, and we obviously want this right next to the video. Voila, there we go. And if it looks a little funky, we can always drag this down a little bit, just like that. And voila, we have our landing page. Let me see if we can preview this real quick to show you exactly what this is gonna look like. Yep, that's it, that's all you need. And once you're done, of course, just head over and click that publish button, and now your cool little landing page is live. By the way, if you need any help at all setting up this stuff because it, you just got completely lost by what I created, hey, don't worry about it. Uh, under this video, there's gonna be a link to book a quick 10 minute brainstorm session. Hey, look, we're really good at setting stuff like this up. More than happy to see if we can help you out, you know, really to execute and launch. All right, now remember the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I'm gonna give you a script for the video that we're gonna put on this landing page. That's gonna guarantee you a lot more appointment bookings. Well, here it is, I'm gonna flash it on the screen. Make sure you click that pause button so that you can copy it. Look, we've seen that when people incorporate this cool little video here into their landing page, they dramatically increase engagement and obviously conversion rates, AKA appointments. It personalizes the experience that your leads get and gives them a direct call to action so that they can actually get some engagement with you. By the way, feel free to massage the words a little bit so that it sounds a little bit more authentically like you.